Guys, gals, welcome back to SOS. I am Staff Sergeant Badass, and today I have some camping items that I have neglected to share with you, and <laughs> I swear, I it just it just kind of like uh, hits me, you know. I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute, I need to share this stuff. Oh, so, so here's the thing: we went on a camping trip, and uh, we did. Um, we did knife skills, fire starting skills, you know, the wife did some, uh, first aid training and stuff. So she's the nurse side of the house. And, and, uh, for myself, I, I did a lot of bushcrafting skills with the kids, taught some wilderness skills, did some fishing, you know, all that stuff. And I got to use some of these items and I wanted to, uh, bring it now that I've, the, the trip's over, I want to bring it and set it back on the table try and hit the reset button on all this stuff because uh, <laughs> you know it's like it's like, or it's like you unpackage you take it you go beat it up and you bring it back and you have to package it back up again and, and show it to everybody so just bear with me uh, got some very cool items here one of the first ones that I really want to share with you guys this is the craziest thing ever this is your See, Grim Workshop, they make all these uh, uh, toolkits that you can put for EDC in these card shapes. And they've made something now that has multi-fire starting use. Uh, it, uh, there we go. There's your fire cards right there. There's your cards for that. Uh, these are tender cards. And they give you some of those with this. And it's a, uh, this, I believe, was a prototype. And uh, these are... Uh, getting ready to launch and they're just finishing up their last little uh, tidbits they want to do to the kit uh, let's open this guy up I always have to neatly put everything back the way I got it when I start playing with stuff and then I try to avoid damaging anything uh, this this kit here you can kind of undo the items in this kit that pop these guys off and you can make yourself a carrier for it but they've got this adhesive on the back so you can put it right back the way you got it there's your saw you've got a nice saw it's thick this time it's not like they're thinner stuff uh, it's a lot thicker but you just pop all these little guys out you got the sticky back so I had to leave that on there because I didn't want to lose any of this stuff if I start fiddling with it, I'll start losing stuff. I'll start pulling some of these little tools out for you. I had it in my pocket. <laughs> it's been in my wallet. Let me get the tools out real quick. I don't, I don't want to take too much time. You'll be like, I just want you to be kind of like, hey, check that out. See, the adhesive still works. Holds it all in there nice. Get a sharpener. And you get a really, you gotta hang on to that real careful. Really sharp knife. All right, this is uh, this is a very very sharp knife. It's got little scratches back there, <laughs> but this thing is freaking sharp. I need to sh I need to get a piece of paper real quick. I want to show you guys that it is no joke. I don't have a thin piece of paper, but I do have this packaging from Tandy Leather. I want to just show you guys how sharp that is. It's like a piece of cardboard. Yep. So you get something that is an actual knife. very thick and that can go in your wallet with you've got like I said the saw how thick that is you get tweezers you know when you're out and about you need a pair of tweezers it drives me nuts look at that thing it has a good nice nice recoil to it you get your paracinium rod yep they send you one of those you can actually light fires. Get a sharpener, and you get a nice chisel type screwdriver. 
I thought that was the coolest thing ever, being able to have all that in one kit. And it's the reason why Grimm's Workshop has done so well over the years in the survivalist uh, preparedness community, uh, to be honest. But I've used their stuff in many of the kits you've seen me build on the channel. Every time I do one of these tiny kits uh, that I put with my knives, it usually you'll see me stack up some of these uh, some of these pieces from their kits, uh, especially with like the neck knives and things like that. So that is a very cool. They have come such a long way from where they started, and they're just only going to get better. This is just the start of something crazy, I'm sure. And hopefully you can see that everything's marked well, made in Texas, and you've got everything's labeled. You got your ferro knife, pry. That's supposed to be tweezer. Yep, you can read that. I know it's kind of hard to read because it's tiny, but there you go. And the dust comes off. <laughs> it's all good. But anyways, that is a very cool, nice little set. All right, next up. I promise I won't take that long with all of these. Flextail. Flextail, they make, they have this tiny air pump. This came in handy, especially with the kids. They're airing up all of their like pillows and stuff. Uh, this, I'll show you that in a sec. This is cool because we use this for repelling bugs. And we also used it as our uh, light inside our uh, camp area for the uh, tent, inside the tent. You get a charging cable, you get uh, these guys here. Those insert into, those insert into here. You might be familiar, like this is like graduated from the uh, old school way that we used to do this. Uh, you would get uh, one of these mosquito repellents that was actually either gas powered or uh, you had to add a bunch of batteries to it or something like that. The one I have, you actually have to put butane and light it. And I don't know how many of you actually have that one. Uh, it's really old school. It's like this big and uh, it takes up a lot of room and it's heavy and it only has one purpose. It only does one thing. Uh, this thing here, not only does it have this mode, uh, this would be to, uh, to ignite your, <laughs> I know, I'm like, oh man, I think I, I, think I killed the battery. <laughs> I used it a lot. I had it on the whole time. All right, let me get something over here and plug it in. You're gonna be disappointed. Well, looks like I'll come back to that in a minute. <laughs> Just a, <laughs> All right, so anyways, the battery died. And I was expecting that to happen because we use it the whole time. The next one we got, I'll show you that in a minute. It comes on, it has a light and stuff, it's cool. But it, it'll, it sucks down a lot of juice because you're basically running away mosquitoes, so. It's running the whole time. This thing's crazy. This thing has like a bajillion lumens. Comes with, this is from Wubin, and this is their X1. It comes with this nice lanyard. And these, uh, Wubin, all their products are built like a tank. Uh, listen to this thing. Hear that? This thing is just like indestructible. <laughs> um, extremely huge battery has a very powerful light so many modes that's one of their highest you know I, you can get to it faster just by double clicking that is insane but it's very very bright and it, there's attachments for this uh, you've got these two little screw holes back here in the back there's attachments for it so you can just connect it to your uh, bicycle or whatever it is uh, you've got and you're trucking along but this can also be a head more than just a flashlight it can be um, it has other variations of attachment so that you can attach it to all kinds of different stuff and that's the that's that's the cool feature about it it also has a strobe I think you've got to hit it like four times or something yeah there it is there's your strobe uh, 
has a light indicator. It lets you know uh, if it's fully charged or if it's dying. Uh, there's a fan in here. You can actually hear it kind of spool up. It makes it makes like a small noise uh, every now and then, uh, but it's not nothing that's going to just keep happening. But anyways, but that thing is crazy heavy duty, and if you need something that heavy duty, or if you like this style, if that's the kind of stuff that you're into, uh, Wubin might actually have the flashlights you're looking for because they make all the crazy stuff, like from uh, wild exotic ink pens to uh, uh, just crazy EDC flashlights that you just don't see anywhere. I, n I never see anyone post like the Wubin stuff, and it's very rare I actually see someone post something about Wubin, but uh, I've I've always shown them on the channel as much as possible. Uh, anytime they hit me up or something like that, I, I always I always love showing their stuff because it's just a trip. It's just a crazy stuff. Recharges normally. It's got a just a standard USB. That's all there is to it. Nothing crazy. Uh, no wild, weird charging systems. Just something very simple to use. Uh, but that's that's their. Uh, Falcon, that thing's really cool. Uh, the next thing is this thing here. I want to share this. Hopefully, the battery didn't go dead on this too, because the kids were using it. That's the problem. If you got kids, they use stuff and they will find a way to destroy it. They will annihilate it. I just can't believe they actually put all this back in here for me and without tearing it up. Uh, but the kids are playing with all this stuff. Uh, Different attachment types. Uh, I was fiddling around with this thing a little bit. I really hope this thing's not dead. Oh, thank goodness. There we go. Uh, so you got different light modes. That goes straight to the light. And there's your battery charging section there. If you need to charge it. I think this is the one thing that did not go dead. I had to charge a bunch of stuff when I got back. I just forgot to charge the other thing there. Which way does that go now? Let's see. So you connect to this end. There you go. You don't have to connect anything on this end, but this was the coolest thing ever. Uh, this is for like airing up beach balls or whatever, but this is the attachment you would use for airing up most of your stuff. Uh, your camp stuff with that weird screw thingamabob, you had to use something like this on it, uh, but it blows some serious air. Let me find some here. Let's just blow this over. Here, check it out. There we go. There go. Nice little crazy fan. It's got this lanyard, so you can use it as a camp light too. Uh, if you're packing really light, but you just don't want to blow up all your stuff yourself, this will do all that work for you and uh, should last a reliable amount of time. Uh, but that's. That's that guy. That's made by Flextel as well. I wonder how charged that thing is. I don't even think it has a bar yet. I'm out of luck, aren't I? <laughs> Someone's going to be like, I didn't get to see it light up. Uh, let's see. I'm not giving it a bad review because it's actually really cool. I just hope it would light up. Let's see. Still not charge enough. It's probably going to take forever and a day to charge that thing up, but it's all good. All right, moving on. There's that. This actually uh, connects to. Oh, as you were. I'm sorry, I missed it. I was going to show you that too, but I forgot. This actually attaches on here. You've got this little square, and there's a square inside here, and you can actually set that inside there, something like that. That way, when you're when you're lighting it up, I gotta show you that. Or I don't want that. Don't turn that on. It gets confusing. You can turn it up on high. There you go, and you've got a nice little pumpkin. For Halloween, you just draw a face on it. <laughs> uh, how many of you are ready for Halloween? Sheesh, I'll tell you, my kids are ready for Halloween. 
All right, there's that. See, I almost forgot to show you that. Now I've got something really cool to show you. If you like this, now I haven't been able to power it on yet, but just trust me when I say it's cool. I wish it would come on. It would be nice to see it. Uh, I got real excited. I saw that thing come on. I was like, dang, that thing's cool. Because it has like that orange glow. All right, what I want to show first. I want to start with this. These two here are from the same company. Company. Uh, uh, this is MIPA. And if there's hair all over it and stuff, I can't help it. It's because it really got abused. Now, um, this stayed at the campsite the entire time and stayed on the entire time. And we also used it as our uh, lights for the camp area because it was actually bright enough to just light up the area, especially while we're like getting fires ready and everything else. This was also the bathroom lantern. How many people actually have to wander around and go poop in the woods? This was all of that and the stereo. It, it links, it fully linked, it can link up with your phone or devices uh, and it's Bluetooth speaker and uh, it's not just a Bluetooth speaker because where we were at, we did not have signal and we had to use uh, this feature. It allows you to insert a memory card, the micro mini cards. You also have the transfer, so you can uh, you can also, if your phone's going dead, you can use this to charge your phone even while it's still playing. So that was a really cool feature that we got to use at the campsite. Uh, this could be your community power hub for a few people uh, just to get their phones boosted back up, but we didn't have any signal anyway, so all of us just turned our phones off. Uh, we use the uh, micro card and that was the cool part about it uh, easy to use you just simply crank the knob uh, once you get the power well you got to turn the power on first makes a cool little sound lets you know hey what's up and then you can just crank this guy up and it has uh, has two different modes so you, you turn it down just like that's like you're using a lantern I brought this out because this is what we used to use all the time was just one of these it takes like a whole bunch of d batteries you, you guys are familiar with this you know you turn it on and it takes a while for it to start kind of powering up but i mean just in brightness if you can switch the light pattern here yeah there you go so i can switch it over to white light and there's not a whole lot of difference and this isn't gonna these fluorescent bulbs that they put in these things are not as great now I've got the old-school Coleman gas powered I've got all that stuff too for those of you getting ready to comment uh, about how old-school you are I <clears throat> I have all that stuff too we like to try new stuff just to test it out and that's you know this whole purpose of the channel is to let you know if it sucked or not and uh, this thing <laughs> this thing here we just uh, we set it to the side this year and we went with this guy and use it the whole time um, I gotta be careful about copyright claims because if it starts playing some kind of tune and then uh, I gotta make sure I turn that down I don't know what it's gonna play I might decide to play anything Anyways, as you can see, it's really loud. It gets louder than that. But it's got some bass to it. It's got a nice thump to it. And uh, most of these that, that you get don't really have that thump to it. Um, let me go ahead and see. That activated the music. I had to hold the button down to get it to turn green. It was white. And then I have to make sure, you know, sometimes it'll, it'll get crazy. There's that. So you can run the light 
And you can run that at the same time, and then to power it off, you just do this. Yeah, and then it'll make a little blah sound. It sounds like flushing the toilet. Uh, but anyways, there's that. It comes with this nice little bag to carry it around with you, which was cool. This is their other item. This is the smaller one. It comes with this package. And I, I've already got it. This is, this is a phone charger. I already had that in there, right? Uh, it's because we were playing with this too while we were out there. Uh, we like to play with this stuff while we're out. So uh, this lanyard setup is cool. I thought that was neat. Uh, for an individual just going out and you just want to be able to hear your music and you don't want to carry a whole lot of gear, you still want your music, but you don't want to carry a lot of crap, uh, this is for you. And it has the same exact features as that big lamp setup. But since we're a family, we use the, we've used that setup. Uh, let me get back into this here. Power on is here. Let's just power this thing up. There's that. We're not going to turn on the music. Uh, you can get an idea. You can kind of hear some sound coming out of it there. Uh, it's the same concept. That lets you know it's fully charged. Over here is cool. You've got your ports here. There's your memory card. Same thing. So you don't have to worry about linking up with uh, anything. Uh, there's your input uh, there. You've got your light here. Real simple to use light. Nothing fancy about it. It just comes on and off. You need a light. There it is. And you've got your, uh, your up and down. Just making sure. Anyways, there's your play button. It's real simple. I mean, it's just all there is to it. But it looks kind of like a canteen uh, for those of you out there that like, like the OD Green setup. We've got like... You could just imagine having like, you know what I mean? Like if this thing came on, if this thing actually worked, you know, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just messing with you uh, Like stuff like this, you start matching everything together. This this match with that, this match with the other thing. It just, it was really cool to have. Come on, please turn on. Turn on, you can do it. You can do it. I know you can do it. Come on. Oh, it said something. I know it wants to come on. It said it was going to come on. There it goes. I got it. It's got enough juice now. So there's your light. Check that out. Isn't that cool? I wanted this thing to work. I just wanted to show you guys. We killed it. <laughs> I promise. We killed this thing. I, we ran it the whole freaking time. And I had to go test it. Everybody... Like tries to rush us to do stuff. Like, hey man, da, 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 da. I want it. I want it now. I want it now. People will try. People will send us stuff. It'll rush us to finish. And uh, this was one of those situations. Like, I haven't even had a chance to play with it yet. But uh, we ran it the whole time. There's your heater there. Yeah, that turns it on. See, look. There you go. There you go. Green. Then you have your red. But there's your uh, ports right there for that. And this will heat those up. And it keeps all the freaking bugs away. So we kept this on the whole time. And it was hanging on our clothesline. And uh, it, kept the, it kept the area free of uh, mosquitoes. You hate mosquitoes like me? Uh, we got some that will pick you up and carry you away. So you want to have something like this with you. But it was nice. I'm gonna plug that back in so it keeps charging. Has a case for it. This case is that similar to that case. It just all kind of matched. It was kind of cool. Uh, but this thing is very, very nice, and I recommend it to an individual who likes to camp and likes music. You want to take your music with you. I don't know why that's still in there. I'm not gonna take put that back in there. I know I get crazy with these things. I start throwing stuff together. You ever try and pack up and leave from a camp? You're like, it's just trying to throw everything where it needs to go, and it just gets ridiculous. All right, next thing up, we did knife skills. So I got a couple of knives here that I want to share. I didn't get a chance to share with anyone because we were just uh, super duper freaking into this stuff. Uh, this is BPS knives. Uh, they're made in Ukraine uh, for any of you that are interested in stuff like this. Uh, let me get the sheet back on there. I just had to tuck it all back in the box before I got in trouble. Uh, you got to make it presentable again. There's this one here, and here is 
this one here, which is really cool. This one, I think I broke the snap off of it by accident because I was roughhousing with it way too much. You're only supposed to do so much and then you get in trouble. Uh, but I actually, I just had to replace a snap. <laughs> it's my fault. It wasn't their fault. It's my fault. I was just roughhousing with this thing. That's what happens when you take your canine with you and you're like hiking with your canine and everything else and you're wearing this stuff. Um, but this is a nice little knife. This is the one that I gave my smallest uh, to do some whittling with. And uh, she was having a good time uh, doing bushcrafting stuff with it, uh, being able to... Uh, uh, one of the knives that she was using didn't have uh, the, uh, the, the flat for ferrule rod on the back side of the blade and I was like Hi, I got you and I just handed her this and that was how she was able to get those fires started and stuff uh, I'm probably going to feature this more in the future as well because uh, they are great knives uh, I just I like the leather work with them I just uh, I like the knife so much I want to have my own leather work with it you know what I mean it's just one of those things this one comes with a ferro rod, does not come with a lanyard, you'll have to come with your own lanyard. Uh, but it does come with nice brass components and everything. Everything's legitly leather worked out. It's all genuine leather. Uh, nice, uh, nice blades. This is the one I had uh, toying with with me. Uh, this is a really nice, uh, nice blade. Uh, nice edge to it. Has a nice flat grind here. Nothing, uh, no, uh, no curving going on here. This is a very good bushcrafting knife right here. Uh, very, very, very sharp uh, blades. I got a chance to share that with you guys. I didn't get a chance to share that. I was going to skip that. I was like, oh man, you know, I've got too much going on and I don't get a chance to talk about stuff. Uh, this, real quick, let's get this out of the way. This is one of the bags we're playing with. This is uh, Three Pigeons and they make some really gangster stuff and this is one of their bags that I got to play around It's typically used for a range bag but I used it to sub divide most of my stuff up and uh, it has I hate having to put things back the way I got it but anyways inside here you've got nice pouches for carry inside this compartment here and then you've got nice and you've got these are bungee I know some of them want to know that. Everything's made out of 6000D. Ridiculous. Everything's lockable. You just marry the two together and you just put a lock in it. And you can lock up any part of this thing. I have to unsnap this so I can show you the rest of it. Because it's just got so much going on. Here's this side pocket here. I like how they did this to the pouch. This here. And you got this here. And it's lockable, see? any part of it that you go into this guy here this is neat because um, you've got zippers here you've got pouches here and that kind of comes out and stays like that so I like I like that part the other cool feature about it was uh, the fact you've got this uh, velcro you can actually pull this whole inside out and uh, after you get it removed, you can actually pull the bags out of the bottom and make it a solid bag. Or if you just wanted to have your gear all loose, you didn't really care. Over here is your door. This takes you into the craziness. You have individual pouches. So you can store uh, weapons or whatever you need to put in there. Uh, any type of... Uh, like if you have camera gear and stuff like that as well, you don't want to get wrecked and trashed while you're on a trail. Uh, this stuff comes in handy, uh, especially for folks like me and I'm trying to carry a bunch of stuff with me. This is neat because you've got this other section right here. Nice organizing section and it's all nice organizing stuff. And then right here, this typically, I'm, I'm assuming that they wanted you to use this for magazines. You know what I mean? And that's kind of what that's for. And then your your pistol would go in this section here. Just like that. You got a nice soft area there to keep it safe. And then you could put another one right here if you needed to. But all three of them look exactly the same. 
just like this one. They look exactly the same. I don't need to open up all of them. Uh, but these all can come out. Like I said, there's a there's a uh, Velcro. This this whole top right here comes out. You can make it a solid bag if you wanted to. And then you would have like a side access if you needed to. But I like it like this. It's nice. It's a very cool setup. And I got one more little feature I need to show you guys. Not on this thing, because that's pretty much it. Because you have another bag right here, and that's pretty much it. Other than you've got uh, waist straps and everything else. Uh, but there's that thing. Let's get on to the other meat and potatoes. Got these guys here. Uh, this is uh, C L I Q, and you hear that? These are chairs. This one is fancy. I'll have to set this up over here. Uh, this one opens up and transforms and all kinds of crazy stuff. This is their signature one here. Got a nice little push button here, and uh, pretty much opens itself just like it is right now. <laughs> oh boy. I got I got to pull this off to the side real quick. I got in the phone. Here we go. Like this. See, the kids had this one. They were playing with it. And then I had to use the other one. These little things come up to the sides. Just walk all the way around it here. And you can, this goes up one more, I think. Yeah. I believe it goes up a little more. It gets real tight. This thing gets ridiculous. Bruh. One more snap. All you gotta do is get that last snap in. Uh, let, me, let me back up and show you guys that. But that's that chair. <laughs> it's insane. Um, I didn't get a chance to show you this guy. We took it with us. And I didn't want to damage it or anything. But this was the setup. And to take it down, it's the same way. It's all mechanical. It just folds, stiffens up real tight, and you got yourself a nice seat. This is their signature one, and this is the camo uh, for anyone who wants to get just the basic. You saw how small it was when it was folded up. It's pretty small. And then the other one, let me get that one open real quick because it's kind of crazy. Like I said, this one is huge compared to the other one. The other one's like a little mini miniature. This thing is like a gaming chair once you put it together, and that's for camping. It, um, the complicated part is not being able to show you while you're unfolding it all because you're just not going to be able to see it. The um, mechanism is the same. It just it flips out, and uh, just like a Dodge Rams mirrors. <laughs> you ever seen those toe mirrors? They flip out for no reason. Anyway, so you get, they, they stick up. They uh, extend just like the other one. You have a backrest on this one that's a little bit different. And that's that's kind of what you need to see. It's the other part of it here. Back here, you've got you can adjust your your head. So it'll squeeze these sides in and it'll make the head uh, the uh, pillow part back here for your headrest nice and comfy. And then you have this other velcro thing, you just put it out of the way. Uh, but anyways. And it goes away the same way. You can put it up and, and put it back in your case. And your case is a waterproof case. You get instructions in case you forget how to do it. Again, it comes uh, zipped in the inside. But this is uh, goes right down in there and you close it up. You have a little storage compartment right here. Right there in case you need to put a, an extra Coors Light or something in it. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, nice uh, protection for the bag is this it's a cone that goes on the end of it. I guess you could use it as a drinking cup too uh, on the side but that goes over this when you close it back up uh, it just keeps it from punching through the side of it or anything uh, that's it that's all I got hope you guys enjoyed it go check out the links below and uh, that's all I got for you guys all right God bless take care stay safe